I've been anchored here two days and it's been very n nice here in Colossum Inlet and uh, I'm heading off today. Uh, I'm gonna go down a creek and uh, go to Turkey Beach, hopefully. Never been down there before. I've asked the locals, they say maybe I can do it. So we're gonna give it a go. A lot of boats here today over on the shore over there. They are kind of squatters huts over there they are. And on this side here is the people that actually pay the rates. And uh, they're over here in some quite nice houses. And there's 17 of them along there. Anyway, got to start the engine up and get going. Well, I'm going up here and I'm aiming for a creek, I believe, that's right on the bow. Yeah, that's looking behind at the houses and where I was anchored. I think he's towing well. Here's the first boat I've seen on our trip up the creek. Kind of got halfway through, there's a causeway here. You look over there, you can see the road goes into the, uh, the river, both sides. It's the causeway, and that's how much uh, we've got just here. I'm hoping that it's not built up too far. And we're about across. And there you go. That's what it looks like up there. A few caravans. Basically, that's the other way. We've got out the narrow spot, but it doesn't make it any different. It's still quite uh, shallow just here, to be honest. There's a bit of a housing thing over there, a few houses. So we're cracking on down here, and we've got to go through that hole there, I believe. Yeah, I'm coming up. I want to go through that gap between the island, uh, the island in front, or a headland anyway, and this uh, headland over here. But uh, it's very difficult to uh, pick the channel. You know, I get down to about 1.5. I turn the up one way, and it kind of deepens up a bit. And then you know, you might go on for a while, then it'll start shallowing again. It's quite nerve-wracking. You can't really see where the channel is. Yeah, I've got the alarm on two meters. I'm taking a punt though, coming this way towards the uh, sandy beach. Right on the end of this island on the other end now and somebody's uh, built quite a nice fishing hut thing there. And looking out to sea, I can see a load of ships. Well, the island I've been going round is called uh, Hammock Hill Island. And this bit here on the end there is called Norton Point. Coming into Turkey Beach. I can see busted head of light from here. Straight through there, there's a white flank. Got a nice rainbow over this side. Basically right over towards busted head. I had a good night here, anchored at Turkey Beach. As you can see, I came up a channel and uh, I, uh, anchor between some buoys because I thought well if I anchor between the buoys there's uh, not much chance you know if somebody put them down there are obviously a bit of water here and there's one other boat over there very nice uh, 
motorboat, catamaran. And uh, he's obviously anchored over there. And Turkey Beach is over here. It's got a boat ramp which uh, obviously is, uh, I reckon it's a concrete boat ramp covered in sand and then you've got a uh, swimming pool there. I'm leaving Turkey Beach behind. I had a bit of a battle with the anchor back there. I've got it up. It took me a while. Anyway, we're on our way now. I'm going down the river a bit today. There's a green mark over there straight in the sun and then we've basically got to go to that point over there. This side here is a big sandbank but I think I'd clear it because it's nearly high tide but uh, I don't want to uh, tempt fate. Oh, I put the autopilot on and all I got was uh, a beep, you know, continuous anyway. I took it off and dismantled it and got most of the water out. There's still a bit in there now, you can just see there, you know, I thought I got it dry, but anyway, it's working. So I think hopefully it just needs a bit of sun. Uh, I think he's going on behind. I was gonna sail down here, but uh, I'm not going to now. And there's Turkey Beach disappearing now. Coming down on the anchorage I'm coming to now, it looks like to me it's going to be a bit rolly tonight, but anyway, I'll have to put up with it. I've anchored here and still in basically in Turkey Beach area, and uh, Turkey Beach is way up there about four miles. And I'm in some anchorage down here, and uh, there's an island kind of in front, still. Uh, the fetch is pretty bad and round here I've got uh, all this lot here as the mainland out to the point there but I'm in 4.4 of water and uh, the rise and fall at the moment is two meters here Yeah. Okay. This is sunset over Mount Carter near Gladstone. I've survived the night, it's been very good to be honest. Uh, the wind dropped during the night and uh, it's slowly picking up now. I can see a few white caps. When I got up this morning, there was nothing. No white caps anyway. Looking this way, that's where we're going, about over there. The problem is, I've got all this headland here in the way. So I've basically got to go over there first, head over there. There's a red buoy. I've got to head over to that, around that red buoy, and then make my way out of here. And round the corner, I think there's a few rocks, and over to Clue Point. This is where we are. We're in Road Harbour. We're going from there to, to Clue Point. I've stripped off to the underpants because my Australian chain is rusty and it just bloody ruins all my clothes. So if I just strip off to my underpants, I can wash myself. I'm leaving the uh, anchorage behind now, but uh, there's the point over there, and I'm heading, you know, way back this way to go around a big sandbank and I'm only in 3.4 of water here. When I started off, I was in 2.2. 2. I'm going round a 
red mark over here, but I can't go straight at it. Got somebody fishing here. I think they're fishing for mackerel. And then you've got the forehand mark there. Look behind it, there's a lot of breaking waves there on a sandbank. And a load of ships out at sea. Well, that's the headland we went round. Very shallow off there for a long way. Coming on round along the beach here, you come to the headland we're going to go round, which is over here. And on the other side of me, there's all these ships anchored. And at the moment we're in 5.4 meters of water. I like to stay in at least five, you know, if I can, all the way around this headland, you know, I don't want to, you never know. There might be a volcanic rock popped up. Slowly passing the ships now. We've got one motor cruiser here. I think he's going to Clue Point also. Coming up to Clue Point now. There's quite a few boats in uh, here. Uh, over the the boats are over there in the centre of the stream. Here we are. 24 minutes till I get to that red square there. That gives you an that gives you an idea a bit further away and I'll click again. You can see where we're going and if uh, I wanted to go to 1770 which is Buster Bay. 14, 15 nautical miles away. Getting closer now to Clue Point. There's a starboard mark down there, but I'm going to go further towards the point before I go in. I don't want to, uh, you can see the sandbank breaking where the starboard mark is. So. I'm going to go further out to sea. Yeah, this is what I can see in my uh, phone. I don't know what you can see there. But I'm going off a phone now. It's uh, better than me. Uh, than the Raymarine A70 uh, map. It's uh, far more detailed on this. I'm going across here and I'm in just dropped now at three meters of water. We've got down to about 2.4. I'm turning now.
line of water. Yeah, just here going by this uh, boy, we've got 5.9 of water. And you can see the sand back there, well exposed. Going up now to another one, a port hand mark, right on the bow there. And we're in 2.6 of water here. And there's a sandbank right round me. All the way back to where we came from now. Kind of coming up on another uh, port hand mark in a minute in uh, 3.2 of water here, got down to about 2.6. Well, by this mark, we got down to 2.3. And there's the uh, leaves up there. Right between these two boys here, we've got 3.2. This is a very nice gentleman's yacht. Yeah, keep that in that condition, it's costing you about 10,000 a year at least. Called Tally Home. Coming up on a fair few boats here now. I've managed to get here to Busted Head basically and in into the creek at Clue Point. But uh, it took me a, a couple of hours more than I thought it would. But anyway, we're here. I don't know if it's better than where I was, but anyway, there's a lot of boats here anyway, so I've already talked to a couple, and I'll probably go and visit a couple tomorrow. There's three, no, there's two boats in the outer anchorage and I can see one it's now uh, over past 5.30 and it's coming in uh, he's, he's sailed from uh, I'd say Cap Capricorn today he'll have had a hard day's slog all the way I decided not to put any sails up today it's kind of into the wind and uh, I couldn't see the point by the time I put them up I'd have to get them down again and uh, I didn't want to sail it I'd be up there for six hours to do five, ten nautical miles so I wasn't up for that so anyway it's quite nice here and uh, I'll uh, see what I'll, I'm going to walk to the lighthouse tomorrow I'm at a busted head and I'm watching the sun go down over Turkey Beach.